Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Vineyard, and I've been selling and listing bank foreclosures for over 18 years. And today, we're going to talk about what I consider the most important part of the foreclosure process, the final judgment. This by far is the most important part of the foreclosure process, in my opinion. The final judgment is a judgment issued by the courts against the defendant, basically the homeowner, in favor of the plaintiff, the bank. It details the amounts due the bank, including the principal, interest, escrow credits, late charges, attorney fees and inspections, um, property preservation, details the lien and lists the very important future sales date of the property. Two biggest things that the final judgment is going to give you is the sales date of the property and what is actually owed and being sued for. It's not just the mortgage, folks. There's a lot of other things that go on top of it, as you're going to see. And it's basically, it just sets the cost due to the bank. So here's a good example. Here's one property. You're going to see over here, we got a sales date. It's listed right here. You've got a total amount due right here, 571. Okay. This is what the bank's going to get plus, plus interest from the date of this date to the date of the actual sale. So it's, going to be a tiny bit higher than this actually but this is basically what they're going to want to get out of the property and what's crazy is this is the actual principal balance the upb is only 429 but they're getting back or you know suing for 571 it's because the interest alone is almost 79 grand it's, that's just nuts and remember preservation look $8,500. I mean, that's, you know, some of these you're going to see big chunks for the preservation portion. Okay. Here's another one. So just to show you real quick, the total the bank's suing for is 159. This property sold for $115,000. Okay. So it sold for 115. Remember, it gives you the date of the sale. And right here, it shows you this is your UPB, your unpaid principal balance. It was only 126. So even the 126, the property still sold less than that. But look at the interest. Interest is, you know, over 18 grand. Um, this one right here, three grand for property preservation. So they take all these different things they put in here, they get an approval, and this is what the actual suit is for, plus interest to the date of the actual sale. This is, okay, yeah, this is one of the of the biggest hits I've seen in a while. Um, this one just is, is crazy. Okay, so your, the total they sued for is four forty five, right? The principal was only two forty two or under two forty three. There's a there's two hundred thousand difference. Okay, so look at this the interest. Look how many years, no payments. Almost, well, hell, almost $100,000 in just interest alone. That's nuts. So, they're at, you know, this is just what this means. There wasn't any payments from this whole time. So, they're getting interest on those. That's 11 years. That's just crazy. That's one of the biggest ones I've seen in a while. Anyway, this property, so four forty five, this property uh sold for a hundred and ninety one thousand, one ninety one. Just crazy. So you see now why the actual UPB is really important, but that's not just it when it comes to foreclosure. There's all the other factors that they get to tack on top of that and they get in the suit, which is the final judgment. So that's why the final judgment is just very, very, very important. It gives you the date of the sale, and it gives you the amount. So if you want to go bid on this property at the courthouse, you know and have a good idea how much the bank is going to bid up to. Like at that house, you would have to go just nuts. That's why that most houses aren't selling at the courthouse anymore. They're just over leveraged nowadays. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks. Make sure and hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments, leave them, and I'll be glad to answer them. Anyway, if you have any other things, what questions about buying, selling, buying foreclosures, investing in real estate, hit me up. Thanks, guys. Bye.